Hello. Welcome to Bailey Preschool. Hi. You're watching a video today. Today is Monday because we come to school on what days? Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yes. So you're watching a video today and I'm going to tell you everything that we're going to do this week. Okay. So pay attention. First, we're going to do our affirmations and our school song, okay? You know this. Here we go. First, our affirmation. I am an intelligent, well-behaved, happy person. One more time. We always say it again. I am an intelligent, well-behaved, happy person. Great job. Okay, let's do our school song. You ready to sing? This little light of mine. Come on, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Give ourselves a hand. Where is our light, guys? In our brains, that makes us smart. And in our hearts, that makes us love. Excellent, excellent day. All right, guys, now we're going to do our months of the year song, okay? Remember that July is right here behind us when we get to July, okay? Here we go. January, February, March, April, May, June, and July. August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Very good. All right, let's do our days of the week. See, you can see them. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And today is Monday, so let's do the song. Today is Monday, today is Monday. So yesterday was Sunday, yesterday was Sunday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday, tomorrow will be Tuesday. That's the end of our song. That's the end. All right, so tomorrow it will be Tuesday when you come to school. Interesting, because we're going to be doing the letter T this week. And Tuesday begins with T. That will help you remember our letter. All of you have one of these T sheets in your packets that I sent you in the mail. So I want you to work on this today. And you're going to color the different things that begin with the letter T. On this letter T that goes straight down and then across, we have a tub, tooth, tape measure, taco, mmm, taco Tuesday, turtle, tent, toaster, and a tomato. So I want you to color them and make them look beautiful so that as soon as you come in and check in in the morning, that you will be able to show us your letter T paper, okay? Just this one. Don't do the other one yet. Just this one. So since we're doing the letter T, I should read you a letter T story. This is our book today. It's called My T Book. That's the title of the book. This book was written by Jane Belk Moncure. We've read lots of her books. That means that she wrote the let the words in the book or the text in the book and this book is illustrated by colin king he illustrates lots of her books 
That means that Colin did all the beautiful pictures in this book. Remember that this is the front of our book and this is the back of our book. So what do we call this part of the book? The spine, yes. Now let's look inside of this book and see if it has a title page. Remember that Miss Bailey told you that sometimes books do not have title pages but lots of times they do. And this one has a title page. There is the title again. That's why we call it the title page, my T book. The letter T makes the T, t sound. When I make the T sound, I put my tongue on the roof of my mouth like this. And I make T, T, just a plain T, not T or just a plain T. It's gentle, okay? Let's begin reading. Little T had a, remember how we always did it? Box. You read that word. I will find things that begin with my T sound, he said. I will put them into my sound box. I like toys. I will look for toys. Little T found a toy train on a train track. Did he put the toy train and the track into his box? He did. Little T found a toy tractor. Did he put the toy tractor into the box with the toy train and the track? He did. Then little T found a truck. He drove that truck up, 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 a tall mountain. He drove to the top, the very tip top. At the top of the tall mountain, he found two turtles. Did he put the two turtles into his box? He did. Then he found a toad. Did he put the toad into the box? He did. Now the box was so full that he could not see over the top. He tripped. He tumbled down, down, down the mountain. He tumbled into a turkey. Turkey feathers flew, so little T made a turkey feather hat. He and the turkey danced together. Little T found a tambourine. He tapped the tambourine. Tap, 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 tap. Little T, the turkey, and the toad danced some more. Then he put all of his things into the box. Suddenly, Little T heard a terrific noise. He ran into a net. When he looked out, he saw a tiger. The tiger opened its mouth. There were many teeth in the tiger's mouth. I have a loose tooth said the tiger, please pull out my tooth. So little T pulled out the tooth. Thank you, said the tiger. Then little T and the tiger went inside the tent. They played with all the toys in the box, the truck, the tractor, the tambourine, the toad, the two turtles, a turkey, a tiger, train tracks, and a train in the tent. They had a terrific time. Now, these are some other words that begin with the letter T. Pay attention because when we have bring in something that begins with the letter T, maybe you could use one of these items. 
For example, a telephone, tricycle, toe, tree, tray, tulip, tomato, toothbrush, television, top, table, tie, taco, and teapot. There are many things that begin with the letter T, so you will not have a difficult time bringing in something that begins with the letter T at all. The end. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that story. That's a fun story, my tea book. I think that I should show you, if you want to practice at home, how to write the letter T. This will be very easy for you because it's just straight lines and we already practice our letter L. Remember that was a straight line for lowercase? and then down again and across for uppercase. We already practiced the letter I, which again was just a straight line down for the lowercase or straight line down, back up, across, back down, across for the uppercase I. Now we're gonna do the letter T, which is very similar. First, I want you to put your finger up with me, stretch it out. We're just gonna air draw, okay? So for the letter T, we just go straight down, easy, go back up and across like you did with the letter I, but then stop. I'm gonna show you now on the paper, okay? And you stretch your hand out and, and copy me. Okay, here we go. Oh, I have a real marker. We don't wanna use a real marker. We want to use Well, we'll write it on here because Miss Bailey did not bring the white marker, the erase marker. All right, so we just go up, straight down. Can you see it? Straight down and across letter T. That's uppercase T, okay? If you want to do the lowercase T, Again, you're just gonna go up, straight down, just like we did with those other letters, but then you're gonna make the go across in the middle of the line instead of at the top. That's the lowercase t. So easy, right? So you can practice those when you're at home, figuring out something to do, or sitting on your porch maybe, looking outside, and you can get a piece of paper or a dry erase board and write, practice writing your letter T, as well as the other letters that we've already done. All right, we're still doing the letter T, so I thought we would do a nursery rhyme that begins with the letter T. You remember Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? I have a book for it. So we'll do the book first, and then we'll do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star together, okay? The title of this book is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It's a nursery rhyme. All right, I'm opening the front cover of the book. There's no title page because this is a nursery rhyme. Here we go. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. How I wonder where you are. Up above the world so high. like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Mm, they're using their imagination. Remember we talked about the word imagination last week? They're using their imagination of wondering what the star is. So let's sing it together now. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I like to make little twinkles. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. You want to do it again? 
Come on, one more time. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Great job, guys! You should sing that one for your parents later. They will, they will just love to hear you sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. So this week we are doing the letter T. It makes the T sound. Mm -hmm. And you are going to do your little T colorings to show us in class. We're also doing the color blue this week. So I have a book that just has things that are blue in it. Maybe you could think about the color blue a little bit. You guys know that blue is Miss Bailey's favorite color. It's always why I always pick a blue shirt or something to wear. But the title of this book is called We Love Blue. And remember that this is the front of our book. So this is the back cover and this is the spine of the book. Let's see who the author of this book is. The author of this book is Emma O'Connell. That means that she wrote the words or the text in the book because the author writes the words. And the illustrator does the pic uh, draws the pictures or takes the photographs. And we don't have the illustrator listed for this book. We love blue. There's the title page because we see the title once again before we begin reading. And some of you can already read because we've been practicing. So you can read along with me, okay? This ball is blue. This bird is blue. Love to see blue birds. This flower is blue. This sky is blue. This shirt is blue. This hat is blue. This eye is blue. You can hear already the people that are saying their eye is blue. This car is blue. This water is blue. Blueberries are blue and delicious too. Now, let's see if you can point to the blue fish. We love blue. And there's the blue fish. The end. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that story. Guess what? Miss Bailey made a rhyme for us so that we will learn how to spell blue like we did red. So here we go. B-L-U-E spells blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. That is how you spell blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. And now we can spell blue. See, when you make it into a song, it makes it so easy, just like we did the color red. Let's try it again. B-L-U-E spells blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. That is how you spell blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. B-L-U-E spell blue. And now we can spell blue. They're gonna see it, you can spell it tomorrow. We should play our color game. What do you think? 
I think we should play our color game. So let's see. I'm going to hold up the colors today. And you have to do what the color tells you to do. Okay? Are we ready? If you're wearing pink, let me see you wink. If you're wearing black, pat yourself on the back. If you're wearing red, let me say, shake your head. If you're wearing blue, let me see your shoes. I'm wearing blue, I gotta show you my shoes. If you're wearing yellow, Clap your elbows. This is how we clap our elbows. If you're wearing brown, let me see you frown. If you're wearing green, pretend to eat delicious cuisine. Mm. If you're wearing purple, Draw an air circle. If you're wearing orange, say, I am. And if you're wearing white, let's say our song is all done. All right? <laughs> I like our color song. I hope when you had on that color, you were doing what you were supposed to do for the color. Like winking for pink like this. Were you doing it? Okay. We'll play that game again. So you have to be ready to do what the colors tell you to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen who might be joining us today. I want to remind you that on Tuesday, you are going to wear your bedroom shoes or your cozy slippers and show us what you wear around the house when you're doing virtual preschool. So you can show us your fuzzy slippers and I will bring my slippers too, okay? Also, you are going to bring in your letter T that you colored for us so great. You can even cut it out if you like, okay? Nice and neat for us. And then, Third thing you're going to do is you're going to bring in something blue because that's our color of the week. Miss Bailey has on her blue shirt. I might not wear a blue one tomorrow, but you bring in something blue, okay? Okay, that's just a reminder. Now, before we end, I wanted to show you something. You guys know that Miss Bailey likes to always bring in something new. So, over the weekend, I went and I got some new clothes for our babies, and I thought I would show them to you because. Some of you probably have some babies that you play with at home, or you may have a real baby at your house that you get to help mommy and daddy dress. So I bought this t-shirt for our little baby dolls. It's white. And I got this t-shirt for our baby dolls. It has dinosaurs on it. And this t-shirt for our baby dolls, it's a Batman superhero t-shirt. And these cute little pajamas for our baby dolls because they have a cute little bug on them. So here's one of our dolls, you remember? Yeah, Jariah liked this doll. So at home, you can practice with your baby doll. Or if you have a real baby at your house, you could let, ask mom to let you help. And the great thing about playing with your doll is that you could learn how to like snap and zip. Because when you guys go to kindergarten, you will have to be able to zip up, for example, your jacket yourself when the teacher says it's time to go outside. And you will have to know how to snap your coat together maybe. So here's a snap for the baby. See, you hear that click and you will have to know how to do that. So it's really important that you play with your baby and so that you can learn how to snap and zip and take off the clothes, right? And 
how to put them back on if you practice with your baby then you will be able to do that and so that's why i got the guys some new clothes so they could be they could um have the opportunity to practice playing with their dolls what do you guys think maybe this week you will get to bring a baby to school to show us how you have put on their clothes maybe we will do that okay so i wanted to show you that that the kids were going to be doing this week they were going to be practicing snapping and zipping or putting on velcro if you have velcro on your shoes we'll practice tying another time all right so once again what do you have to do Tonight, you should get out your bedroom shoes or your fuzzy slippers that you're going to wear so that you can show them to us. You should bring in your letter T. You can cut it out if you like and make it so beautiful for us to look at. And you should bring in something blue to show us because that's our color of the week, B-L-U-E, blue, okay? All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed your time with us today. It's time for us to sing our goodbye song. Are you ready? Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to you. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to you. Come and see us again. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to you. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to you. Come and see us again. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to you. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to you. Come and see us again. Goodbye. Goodbye.